Hello YouTube, Liz here. I wanted to come on and um, show you some of the things I've been working on and uh, I went to Hobby Lobby and Joanne today. I had to go up to the metro area to get my uh, phone battery changed and it was great because I thought I had to leave my phone for like five days. If you take it to an Apple store, you do, from what I understand. But I took it to Best Buy and they had it back to me in two hours. So, way to go Best Buy. Um, since it's sitting right here, I'll go ahead and show you. I've been making some hats. I've made my granddaughter, uh, and well actually, my my daughter and her whole family want Harry Potter themed hats. I think they're going to be Harry Potter characters for Halloween. So anyway, I made this hat and <laughs> I made it on the Addy knitting machine and I miscalculated. I wanted it to have, I looked online to see, I don't know much about Harry Potter, but I looked online to see what the story was with the colors and I saw that it had red and yellow, dark, well this dark red and a gold this is golder than it looks I have a light the overhead light on if I turn it off it's too dark in here uh, anyway I tried to calculate the lines and then it's see you, when you're on the Addy you make a, a long tube and you cinch in both ends and so it becomes a reversible beanie and I thought well I tried to calculate it and I didn't do it right. I'm not that experienced with it. So it can be either worn like this or switch it around like this. And uh, they wanted it like they decided they want, I showed them a picture of it and they decided they wanted it like that. So now I'm going to make a couple more of them and uh, see if they like those. They're really, they, I bet they'll be really warm. I don't really can't think about warm right now because it's over 110 degrees every day so anyway I had that on my on Hedra I named her Hedra that's my foam head one year my daughter said what do you want for Christmas and I said a foam head so I get this big bag in the mail with two foam heads in it it was cute so then I made hold on on the Addy, I made two blue hats for Hats Not Hate, Lion Brand's anti-bullying campaign. So I'm going to put those in the mail. They need to be there before September the 1st. So I've got to hustle up and get to the post office with those. Okay, so my big rush to get to Hobby Lobby, not only because the 30% off, which they do, I think, every other week. So... It turns out that I was rapidly running out of yarn for a big project I'm working on and I didn't realize that I didn't have another skein of black and I'd started out using I love this yarn Hobby Lobby's brand in black and white and then I used um, the Mandela Lion Brand Mandela Ombre in cool and I started making all the squares it's granny squares I'm using the mosaic glorious granny so they're looking like this and of course they're all going to be different I started out making the square and then I'm bordering it with black so let's see this is the front side of it it's really really nice yarn to work with I just love it and I'm really excited about the project. I've got 24 of them, so I'm not going to get all of those out. But um, I've got them. The ones that I've completed are on my blocking board, such as it is. <laughs> I'll turn this around to show you. If you can see my blocking board. And I just have it stretched out on there. It's not perfect. I hope that came in frame. I'll find out when I look back on here. I may have to redo that, but I can put a better picture somehow, maybe at the end. Anyway, I've got, I've tried to calculate how many squares I needed for the size of the afghan. It's a gift. So what I did was I took this basic, the mosaic uh, granny that was on um, Creative Grandma's, I think it's Stitch of the Week number 91. And then I put the black border around it. Then I'm going around with 
two rows of what I thought was white. Um, two rows of double crochet and then another row of the cool to go around and then I'm going to sew them all together. So as I've mentioned in the past, I have a cataract or two and I guess it's getting worse because it's really hard to see the colors. Last night I was so upset because I was in the living room working on the squares and I put what I thought was a black border around and it turns out that it was I had picked up the wrong skein of yarn it was the navy that I was working on the hats for hats not hate I had laid it down on my table picked it up instead of black so I had a navy border around and I was, had to go back and fry all that and then um, see there's the, the white or what I thought was white was around the outside of that so I had to frog all that then frog and then redo the black border went back and redid this this looks like white right I took it out of my stash and I was rocking along until today when I went to Hobby Lobby to buy more white because I was out so I come I came home and uh, well before I even got home I we were in the car coming back and I suddenly realized that the whites were I was looking at my stuff and I noticed that that wasn't white this is antique white I bought two skeins of white and I can't get back to the metro area to buy the antique white so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do I'm gonna keep going with this as long as I can and maybe I don't know if it, I doubt it's gonna last through all the squares I have to border but maybe it will I don't know I'm just gonna keep trying because I was so upset it really ruined <laughs> it really ruined me I thought nah that cataract so then I was when I was in Hobby Lobby there was a lady working on the aisles and she was pri repricing things and she was marking down the yarn for 99 cents the yarn that had been 3.99 was 99 cents the yarn that had been um, $4.99 was $1.24 and she said that she was taking it by discontinued lot numbers or something and I thought what a tedious task that is she's got to look at every skein of yarn and she was about halfway down the row and she said that usually she should do it they do it twice a year and she said I should do it when I get an order in and go through it and I thought I, I don't know I was in a hurry my husband was in the car with the engine running and it's 110 degrees so I didn't have a lot of time for chit chat but I was just gonna go in there and grab white grab black and a couple other things and skedaddle and it didn't work out quite that way so I had to wait because I saw her marking down and she wasn't marking down all the skeins but she was mark marking down certain ones out of each color and I was like waiting and waiting I was kind of lurking behind her and I didn't want to get in her way and I thought okay come on come on go a little bit more I want that one right in front of you and these people came up and needed help and she had to leave her task and go on another aisle and help them and I was like no so while she was doing that I picked up some of two of these now I wasn't going to buy this stuff. When I saw it last time, it's called Yarn B Rainbow Rhapsody, W-R-A-P, Rhapsody. Okay, it's a light yarn and I don't care to work with such fine yarn. It's a, it's a number one and it calls for a size D3, 3.25 millimeter crochet hook. And it's 60% cotton and 60% acrylic. And it's got 918 yards. So I thought, okay, maybe I can hold it together with another, you know, worsted weight and make something cool. So I bought this one, which was, I mean, it's originally $8.99 and that's kind of steep. I don't like paying that much, but it is a lot of yardage. And, um, this one's called wild and free but how can i resist that gorgeous color and this one's called teal of fortune my colors i had to get a couple of them they're 30 percent off i would not have bought them if they weren't on sale 
So, and, and I have seen other people's, in other people's videos that are shopping at Hobby Lobby saying that the shelves were wiped out. The shelves are wiped out here too. I don't know what the deal is, but they were wiped out the last time I was there, which was about a month ago. I saw these up there and I saw the gorgeous colors and I resisted the gorgeous colors, but today I did not resist the gorgeous colors. So I'm probably going to make a shawl with those, I think. Okay, so speaking of, um, I guess, clothing items, I don't know. This is called the Kaleidoscope Jacket. I think I've heard this before, but I want to make this for my granddaughter. And I purchased this pattern in May. Um, it's an Annie signature design. It's called the Kaleidoscope Jacket, designed by Lena Skvargerson for Annie signature designs. I thought that was pretty awesome. So the, the yarn that it calls for is um, Universal Yarn Uptown DK Colors Light DK Weight Acrylic Yarn, three balls. And they're going to be using a size J with that light yarn. It's a, it's a three weight yarn. And I thought, okay, what can I use instead? Well, there's a website called Yarn Sub. I believe it's called yarnsub.com and it, it gives you a list, detailed list, a very well detailed list of yarns that you can substitute when you can't find the one you need. So one of the options was a yarn bee. So I got it and I'm glad I did because right before I made this video, I unpacked everything, I took it out. It's called Yarn Bee Katarina and I got Tango Topia. Okay, it is a, it's 90% acrylic, 10% nylon, and it's a three weight, and it calls for a five millimeter crochet hook or an H. And that's a 10, no, that's a six in the UK. So I don't know, they're using a J for the pattern, so I guess I'll have to swatch it and find out. But anyway, I got three of these, and no, I got four of them, so I'd have enough. But I was really glad I did because some of them are marked 99 cents. They were $3.99, so I thought, awesome. Then I bought three Golden Gate Sunset. They're, that's different. I got three of those. And I thought there's another pattern. I didn't get it out to show you, but there's another pattern that I have in my notebook that I'm, it's kind of on the list of things I want to make. And for this one was for myself and I thought, oh, I think I'll give it a try. So anyway, it's Yarn Bee Katarina and it's really soft. I don't know how it crochets yet, but we'll find out. So here's, let's see, I got Golden Gate Sunset, and then I got the Tangotopia, Golden Gate Sunset. I thought I had another color. Now see here, see they were marked down to 99 cents. It's a different lot, but it's okay. It looks the same. It's not like when you buy a cake yarn that's um, like the Mandala. Some of them totally don't match. This wasn't like that. Oh, these are all Golden Gates. Golden Gate. Tango. Okay, so I guess I got a, more than I thought. <laughs> Oops. But anyway, I'm glad I did because some of them, like half of those were marked down. Half of them weren't, but they were still 30% off. Now, I, what I understand was if it was marked um, for clearance, like with the 99 cent tag on it, I didn't get 30% off of that. So then I saw this, which is called, rightly named, Christmas, and it's got sparkles in it. It's got bling, but it's, it's a, I love this yarn, metallic, and it is 252 yards, 97% acrylic, and 3% metallic polyester. And this calls, for, this is a four weight, and it calls for a I, nine, 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. So anyway, I bought some Crafter Secret in Christmas colors and I'm all getting all ready for holiday feelings now because I'm tired of this whole summer scene and um, other people are starting to make Christmas things and it's getting me in the mood to do that. 
I also got, I love this yarn in Drizzle Me This. It's a four weight. Most of the I love this yarn I'm finding is a four weight. Okay, and this one is fruit salad. And it's got cute colors in it. I thought I might make something and hold it together or hold it together another color or you know use it interspersed with another color something I don't know so I I um, have these on top of my box I got an order from lion brand that came in but this is on top and I was gonna go ahead and show it to you I like um, the decorations at Dia de los Muertos which is really popular um, in border states especially here in Arizona it's uh, sugar skulls and so I got this it's wooden to hang up I've got quite a few um, sugar skull decorations I was at Dollar Tree yesterday and I bought two tumblers I um, if Pam DeLions is listening go to Dollar Tree she likes that decoration too um, the sugar skulls they, there's tumblers, kind of small tumblers, glass tumblers with a sugar skull on them. Cute, cute. And then I got a towel for my oven door. There we go. So that was on top of my Lion Brand order. Now let me get to it. Okay, I got, um, they were having a special and I believe the shipping special I'm not sure now I you know by the when you ordered all this yarn by the time it gets here I have forgotten what I ordered but this is mandala and this was a color I had not seen before so this is lion brand mandala sirens okay you can kind of see the other color down in there but it's you can see it on this end but as Anybody that's worked with Mandela knows that the cakes can vary. I had to learn that the very hard way. But this one is 590 yards. It's a three weight. The ombres, when they came up with ombres, those are four weight. I like that better. Anyway, here's the other one. I bought two so that I could make a shawl. I'm all about shawls still. Even though there's 590 yards, I decided to go ahead and get another one. I, I don't know, but when I opened the box and I saw these gorgeous colors, I out loud said, whoa, those are really, <laughs> those are really nice to open up and see these colors. I also got Kelpie. Okay, that's kind of a brown and then a orangey color and then the greens and everything but it's it's beachy it's oceany and I had to have that and I got two of those then I got um this is landscapes this is lion brand landscape I haven't opened this yet let me open it up and show it to you better this is cabana okay I've worked with the um red heart uh, what's it called unforgettable this is pretty much like that it's like a roving kind of yarn this is a 100% acrylic it's 147 yards it's a medium four and it calls for a crochet hook that I can't read it's so tiny I'll have to get my magnifying glass out but anyway, I got three of those. I'm learning to buy in multiples now because I got messed up making shawls when I ran out of yarn and couldn't find it anymore. And I was way far along. That was bad. Okay, the other one I ordered, this color. Of course, I its color just jumped out at me. I had to have it. This is Lion Brand Landscapes in Fiesta. It is spectacular. I can't wait to make something out of that and probably will be a shawl but I have a whole box of riotous color here that is really calling to me so oh the other thing I got um, I went I stopped by Joanne to get some let me show you 
I shot I stopped by Joanne after I dropped off my phone so I didn't have my coupon because I didn't have my phone but she spotted me one at the counter um, I got Red Heart Super Saver Ombre and Blutiful and I had ordered Blutiful and uh, waited for a long time to get it and I only ordered two and I thought I had started making squares with that mosaic they work up so fast I just really enjoy it um, I haven't gotten to a good color change yet to get to the dark in there but I'm gonna start a project when I finish this gift I'm gonna start a project using that and I'm using an eye crochet hook with that um, but I bought some more today I went ahead and got three more it was on sale and uh, I had my coupons and all that stuff and I have to grab stuff when I can that's just the way it goes for me and uh, I picked up this I just whipped through they have a section in the the Joanne that I go to in, in the metro area that has um, all the kind of I call it kind of odd different lion brand yarns that we don't see too much they have them all in this little section and they were all 30 percent off it was a door buster so i got frothy okay i have no idea what i'm going to do with this but it says it's 120 yards and one ball will make a beanie there's a little beanie sign on there that's the first time i ever noticed that that's cute this is called llama bell and it is a five bulky and it calls for an in, I think. It's really tiny. An in crochet hook. But here's how it looks. Okay, it, it's barely bulky because it, the bulk is from all the little stuff all around the outside. The middle part, it's like on a cord and it's wrapped around there on a, you know, like a thin strand. But I thought it was cool, and I thought I would try it for something. I don't know. I'll work up a little swatch and see what it looks like sometime. But anyway, um, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> I had to have these taper candles. These were too cute to pass up. I had to have those. They were marked down like 40%. And then, you know, the girl at the front gave me the coupon. And then there's the spoon. I needed a spoon in my kitchen, so I got this because I love Halloween stuff and fall. And on the back, when I took it off the card to undo it, it has some measurements on there. The cup equivalents in ounces and tablespoons and teaspoons. And I thought, how handy is that? That's pretty cool. Then I got... A little bag with llamas on it I just thought that was real cute little zipper bag and uh, I got some charms I didn't have much time to look at charms but I grabbed I just found one that had a bunch on there that had a theme I like and these are little cactuses and they were all 50% off so they were originally $5.99 so I got I guess I got them for three dollars so I think that's about it let me see yeah I pretty much been working on this gift I have a deadline coming up not really soon but soon enough that I can't get distracted doing other stuff or I'll get messed up I want to just go ahead and crank this out and get it ready and then I can relax and work on some other stuff but right now I'm pretty focused on this I know me and if I put it aside I'll I'll get out of whack so I hope you guys are staying cool wherever you are or warm if you're in a cold place and um, I guess that's about it from here I'm thanking you for watching and um, thank you for subscribing and liking the videos and I love it when you leave comments and see what you guys are working on um, if you have any tips on blocking boards, mine looks pretty crazy. I know that the, oh, I went, when I was at Dollar Tree, I bought metal skewer, skewers, and I got four in a package. I bought two packages, and then, um, I had my husband bend the ends. Let's see if I can, I had him bend the ends, 
and then I put a uh, high density foam square that I had bought to make a pillow cushion, a chair cushion that I didn't make. And then I took some of his, um, he has plugs, uh, ear plugs, little squishy ear plugs, and I used those as stabilizers. And then I put tips on the top because he said they were very sharp and dangerous and hurry up and put some on the top. So I found, I used some little things that they put on the end of crochet hooks like this. This was before they came out with ergo hooks. You could put them on the end of your crochet hooks to give a little grip and then some knitting needle tips. I do knit. I don't enjoy knitting. Um, I just, I don't know how to fix mistakes. So maybe someday I'll try it, but right now I'm enjoying doing other things. But here's another look at my rig. I bought that metal base part at Lowe's for a few dollars and then um, I've been struggling with it ever since to try to figure out a way to either find something that fits in those holes perfectly or some way to stabilize it and the my skewers are tipping over but that's okay it's still doing its job stretching out my blocks I think <laughs> I'm checking to make sure that's not distorting them at all I took away I had them eight of them around but that was kind of distorting it and I, I didn't like the way that it was trying to pull them out in the middle so this way is just fine for right now I'm, I just did that a couple days ago so I'm gonna check them and make sure they're okay so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye